Hey y'all, it's Krista with the Wrapper Resource, and today we are going to learn how to make design cupcake toppers. And I'm using Publisher 2007. If you have 2010, it'll be a little different. The options are actually named the same, I believe, but you will probably find them in a different toolbar and probably easier to find than where I have to go to find mine. <laughs> And what we're going to end up with is this cupcake topper, just a general happy birthday. And how do we start? Well, we need to start with a template. So we go to File and New. And then you're going to go under your blank page sizes. Once you have it created, it will be in here. And you'll scroll down to create a custom page size. And we'll just name it Cupcake Toppers, not Tippers. <laughs> and multiple pages per sheet then your page is the size of your individual cupcake topper now your horizontal and vertical gaps are the space in between so as you see vertically in between each topper vertical gap I'm going to do them both at half an inch and then I like my edges to be even Steven so I'm going to take my top margin to 0.75 as well and now we have my goal is to get 12 on a sheet since I like to sell them you know in quantities of 12 now we've got that all set up we'll click OK and the new sheet is actually going to be highlighted for us double click it to open it up and we'll start our design if you're going with the square look you wouldn't need to insert any shapes <clears throat> unless you want just a solid color background and then you may need to insert a shape to get that I want a circle so I'm going to make sure that my objects toolbar is on uh, 2010 may not be called an objects toolbar and I, but I think you have like a shape toolbar possibly object toolbar that would have shapes and stuff on it so I'm going to start with a circle and I want to recolor it so I'm going to right click format auto shape I don't want a line so if I decide to change my color of my circle later I can and not have to worry about changing that too more colors I want a red dark red okay okay now you can do all this at the same time but I'm gonna right click and format again and change the size and I want this background circle to be the size of my topper so the two by two and then just even that up you can precision move this with the um, arrows on your keyboard now I want another circle so I'm going to save myself a little time and I'm going to copy right click and then paste then I'm going to format the new shape I'm going to change the color to white and I'm going to change the size to a 1.75 by 1.75 and that's going to be centered for me now let's say you have a really cool background and you want inside that circle well most backgrounds are rectangular or square shape not usually circles so if you're using 2007 how do you get that in there just like this you're going to right click your shape format it and where you have that fill color you have fill effects and then you can p uh, click on the picture tab select your picture and I actually have some confetti a confetti background I want in there so I'm just gonna find that there it is and then okay okay and there's our confetti sometimes you might have a background something like this depending on what the, the rest of your elements that will be on here and how they're designed you may want to wash this out and that's what it's called in publisher is a washout <coughs> where it looks like a tint instead of really bright so you go to the format picture and then the picture tab image control and then you can change the washout color now that's going to be too much for this particular design so I want it a little brighter but not as bright as the original so I'm going to go back in there and you can change your percentages I want to change this to let's say a 55 and then your two numbers need to equal 45 I mean 
that's my next number is 45 they need to equal 100 so you need to change if you change the top number you're going to want to change the bottom number either way otherwise you're going to get very yucky results so i want to start with a 55 brightness and then just subtract that from 100 and you get 45 click ok perfect it's not as bright as it was but it's still bright enough where you can see the colors and stuff now i want to insert a basic clip art so insert picture from file going to go back into my clip art and this one is under a clip art package I purchased from Delightful Doodles if you're not familiar with Delightful Doodles and you're any kind of a craft person digital craft person you gotta check it out it's um, www.delightful dash not underscore but dash doodles just like the word I'm doodling a picture dot com and she has some really really cute stuff <clears throat> and then when you get your other element in there just resize it to what you want which you can do with your corners or you can go into the format picture and change the size that way now this is as far as I'm going with this particular design and since this one has like a, a neon border around it I probably didn't need to wash out my background but I'm going to leave it because I'm happy with it but I do see something that I want different there's no there's not really a bright or a deep red in any of this and I want my outside color outside circle color to match and be more cohesive with the design so how do you do that how do you match the colors within your design easy peasy that's my new line easy peasy so click on that red circle or whatever you have you're going to right click no wait I'm thinking something else you're going to make sure it is selected then you're going to find your little paint bucket which is fill color you're going to click the arrow next to it sample fill color and then you're going to take that little dropper and put it inside whatever color it is you want and click right on it and it's going to change now I think I do want a, um, an outline on this particular circle with the confetti since there's an outline on the happy birthday but since I'm using blue I'm gonna pick a different color rather than matching this blue here because I think it's just gonna it won't stand out so how do you change a line color to match one of the colors in your design that's also easy peasy you will find your little paintbrush which is the one when you hover it it'll say line color click the arrow sample line color and let's see we want this generic enough so it'll be good for a boy or a girl and so we've got blue I'm afraid yellow won't show up as well let's use the green and then you can actually change if you right click on that circle and format auto shape you can change the the size the weight which is how big the line is basically so I mean you could take it really big style is the same thing style and weight same thing it's just picking the weight the size of it so you could go really big if you wanted to you know really double stack those easily without having to create more auto shapes I don't want mine that big but that was just an example I'm gonna go <coughs> to two and a quarter and you could even do a dashed look the star look well actually that's not a star it's a little circles ellipses if you will or the dash to look I just really want the solid look but those are some other options for you and I actually think I liked one point so there we go and then we're all ready and then of course always 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 make sure before you go any further with printing that you save this and save it in your work file wherever that is however your file structure is and I'm gonna name mine general birthday cupcake toppers and save it and then you can print those and you'll see that when you go to file print 
you'll have 12 to a page and, it's, and there they are you can see how all 12 of them are going to fit on your sheet and you can print these on white, uh, white cardstock and then just punch them out or you know if you don't have a punch and you're good with scissors cut them out with scissors or you might have you know a circle blade or something that you've gotten you know that you used to use with scrapbooking before you came a digital person <laughs> so you could do that you could even use labels circle labels I like to actually have my Cricut cut the color cardstock I want and then so if I did that for instance I would not create my design with this blue here I would have my Cricut machine cut some blue circles or you could punch them out whatever I don't have any big punches I just I happen to have a Cricut so I'll just stick with that and you could pick you know a scallop shape anything and then I like to use labels to where this um, you know the confetti and the happy birthday would actually be printed out on a sticker and then I would place the label on top of my cardstock circle I also like mine um, uh, double cupcake toppers where you've got the design on both sides and the stick is in the middle and you've put them together with either hot glue or double stick tape I use double stick tape seems to work fine and then a suggested retail price for these I did some research and you know there's it's a range it's not a huge range but depending on what materials you're using how you're putting them together how much time it takes you to put 12 together will depend on and, and what you and what profit margin you want to stay within is all going to be a factor of course in your retail price I don't think I would go less than 75 cents per cupcake topper unless you're really basic and one-sided <coughs> another one side but you know if you're printing this out on cardstock I mean you're using you're using a lot of ink and then the assembly time so just think about that so anywhere from 75 cents to I've, I've seen them as much as a dollar 25 me personally I think that's excessive so if you don't want to be at a dollar 25 just think about how you want to make them to keep you between the 75 cents and a dollar range and that is how you create a cupcake topper again if you have any questions you can always reach me on Facebook and send me a message or you can um, go to our website and use the contact form or simply email me at this email address kreagan at sweetexpressionsllc.net and I will help you with any technical difficulties design issues or um, clip art questions you may have so I cannot wait to see all your cupcake topper designs and I will see y'all soon. Bye now.